Hey guys, Steph the Illuminated Nerd here. Today we're going to be looking at Rain Meter, and Rain Meter allows you to customize your desktop by using uh, little skins that you can apply to widgets that provide information about your computer, such as hard drive space left, or your CPU usage, or a custom clock. Uh, so this is what my desktop looks like in the end, and now I'll show you how I got to that. Let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to rainmeter.net and you want to download the latest beta and you want to install it. Okay, and here's what the default looks like for Rainmeter. You have the little welcome screen and you start having these little widgets like here's a clock and a system information, CPU usage, uh, disks, uh, disk amounts used, like uh, how much hardware space you've used and how much hardware space you have total. Uh, there's other plugins that are not currently displayed, um, but uh, usually the point is you want to go get skins so that you can apply skins to uh, the plugins you're seeing here and any additional plugins that are not here. Uh, if there's ever a plugin that you don't like out of a, like a collection of skins that you download, you can always right click on one that displays and you can click on unload skin. So like that's the welcome screen. I would never want the welcome screen to show up again. Um, Anyways, uh, outside of that, I want I wanted this new background instead of the Mario Brothers background. I found this on uh, triple triple monitor backgrounds.com uh, in the abstract category. It's called cubes. Uh, I just wanted something that would um, uh, be a little bit more on the green blue uh, color scale and then be uh, a much more clean uniform background with mm, like vi like a lot less busy really I wanted very little uh, to display so that I can um, put more focus on the widgets that are going to be displayed uh, from uh, rain meter so with that being done I downloaded that uh, wallpaper and I applied it to my screen so moving on from that uh, so like I said I installed rain meter and what we want to do after we install the rain meter is we want to find uh, more skins because the one that it comes with, although is nice, uh, uh, there's a lot of nicer ones out there for sure. So you go to rainmeter.net and there's this discover link at the top and then deviant art is really the place, best place to get skins uh, for, uh, your, for your rain meter widgets. Um, from here you go to the skins gallery. And then there's uh, subcategories here. Uh, suites is a full collection of skins. So someone decided to, uh, let's say this Illustral Pulsar, someone decided to um, make a, a whole bunch of, of widgets uh, and then make them like as a collection together. Uh, you can see there's a lot of uh, cool information you can get. Uh, for example, you can see the information about the individual cores of your CPU and of your GPU. And how it does this is it actually reads information from uh, hard, hardware monitor software, HW Info 64. Uh, and it actually grabs the info from that, which uh, a lot of people use when they're trying to um, you know, overclock their systems and uh, optimize their system to use that software to see that information. So it's great that you can have that information available um, right on your screen uh, in these little widgets. So I'm not going to use Elestro Pulsar, but that's just an example of one that uh, has a lot of different widgets. Um, so the one that I am interested in is called Gadgets. Uh, and I like the colorfulness, I guess, of like the GPU meter shows a little NVIDIA icon, uh, you know, CPU usage, uh, it shows Intel here. I know mine actually shows an AMD one, uh, cause of my Ryzen. So <clears throat> I, I'm going to, uh, download and install, uh, gadgets. And what's neat is that some of, sometimes they don't all do, but for the most part, uh, if it's this little rain meter icon and it's this .rm skin extension file, that means you can actually just click on the file and it will actually, by default, if you just install it this way, it'll actually download the, uh, it'll download the skin and apply it right away to your desktop. So here you can see I've got some CPU usage and this calendar and this clock. And there's uh, the welcome screen that they provide allows you to, uh, you know, pick. Uh, if you've got a laptop, there's like a, a battery meter and your 
drives meter shows your different drives these keep appearing in my other screens so i'm going to drag them in uh the gpu meter yeah i like i like that one a lot uh, network meter i'm not interested in but if you wanted to display like your internal and external uh, ip address that would make sense uh weather meter um, is nice but i am going to be using a weather meter from a different uh skin uh, wireless meter if you've got wi-fi on a laptop so that would show your wi-fi information um so i'm going to go with that for now um i like all of these um i'm going to put cpu over here and gpu over here uh i don't like their clock actually so again um so if you want to get rid of a a skin that you, uh, you know, if you loaded up a skin and you want to get rid of it, the easiest way is you right click on it and you click on unload skin. Um, if you want to load skins again that you may have hidden, if you can go your, in your rain meter icon in your sys tray and you click on manage here, you can see that I've under my skins, under this gadgets folder, here are all of the different skins that come with the gadgets um, collection so the calendar one is here so here's um, chronometer they have an analog clock that wasn't loaded by default so if i click load now i've got this analog clock and i can click unload to get rid of it if i don't want an analog clock but like i said there's different things that aren't necessarily there like the network meter if you'd want to load that you can click on here and load the network meter and you'd get that show up and then um and then you can move it to the area you want so uh i'm gonna close this for now um battery life uh drives meter move that over here move these over here uh calendar over here somewhere i don't actually want a battery meter but i'll leave it there for now um Okay, now the other collection that I was interested in is called uh, Speed. I like the transparency of this. I like that weather widget. That's the one that I was interested in. Um, but I don't like their CPU monitor, which looks like, a, you know, like the dashboard of a car. I'm not interested in that. But hey, maybe if you are, then that would be a good collection for you. Um, unfortunately, this particular... Yeah, the link's dead there. Uh, I'll make sure that I have a functional link uh, in the description. Um, but uh, in order to get this one uh, specifically installed, when you download the, the zip file that comes with it, you, you unzip it, uh, and then uh, you have to copy the folder into the rain meter folder. So I'll show you here, rain meter. And then in this skins section, there's an open folder. And then this opens up your skins folder. So it's my documents, rain meter skins. So here's where your skins are. You can see my gadgets skin was installed this way. Uh, so one second, let me just grab. I made sure I kept a backup of Uh, this one's called speed. So there you go. I can just copy this into here. And that's the exact same thing that happens when you install, um, your, uh, when you're installing a skin, it's basically just copying the files to the folder. Uh, the only thing that's not happening is it's not going to like preload it by default. Um, so what you need to do is you need to manually load by going into manage. Um, and then now that you've copied the speed folder here, it doesn't show up by default. You have to click on this refresh all button. And now the speed folder shows up. And now I have access to all of these um, new skins that I can apply. Uh, you know, there's a Bing search and a you know, CPU and RAM. So some of these overlap for sure. Um, but I like the, the date calendar. So yeah, I can move this over here. Um, and I like the the clock i like more the clock of let me just drag it they keep showing up in my uh <laughs> my other screens so i gotta drag stuff over all right okay yeah that's fine uh and then the calendar is fine there 
Um, trash, that's a, uh, that's nifty. That's a little um, recycle bin icon. And uh, what's nice about this is that if it's empty and you click on the icon, it normally loads up the folder where you have um, your recycle bin. But if it's actually got items in it and you right click on it, it gives you a shortcut to clearing your trash can. So there you go. It's just going to delete everything. And then now that it's empty, if I click on it, it actually opens up the recycle bin. So that's interesting. Um, uh, this wallpaper one is kind of cool. Uh, if you load up the wallpaper one, uh, you can actually uh, edit the settings for it. And you can specify a path. And if you put images in this path of these extensions, it will do like a slideshow in this little thing here. So that that's interesting if that's something that you want to do. Uh, now the weather widgets, uh, clear icons and Celsius because I am Canadian. So let's move this over here uh, and the middle is fine. Um, one thing that's important is that once you load the weather widget, if you're using this one, or I would say any of the weather widgets really, you need to specify your location um, that it can grab the weather from. So uh, this actually grabs the weather from weather.com, uh, which when I click the edit options for here, you can see that this location is what you have to fill in from weather.com so i went to weather.com and then i you know it, it auto automatically picked up my location but if i wanted to add a location i could just manually add one but if i click on my location here at the top um, it actually shows my location it's right here this is actually the location code that it wants right so you paste it here And then you save it okay and then you close this and then you go back to your rain meter and then you refresh and that'll grab your weather from where you are and yes it is that cold here um, so uh, so yeah the gadgets great uh, now I'm starting to use the speeds great I've got weather I've got my Gmail thing um, I think that's about it that I'd like from there uh, and the last one that I wanted to install is uh, Illustro Notes, which is a quick way of adding um, just like a single sentence notes. Um, so I download that. Broken link. I gotcha. I think it's because I have to refresh and then click on download. Yeah, it's only it's because the link, the the note, um, the URL is correct. It's just the download links gets generated every time you load the page. So that's fine. So here, this one's a, a installer I can just use like this. Great. Uh, and here is the notes plugin by default. Uh, so these are all nice. They just don't look uh, uniform, which is what I'm going to deal with next. So these are all the plugins I want to use. Illustro Note, uh, the speed collection and the gadgets collection. Um, so I can get rid of this. Um, and this is just to show you how that all got installed, but I can get rid of this. So here I have I, pretty close to what I finally want. I'm going to get rid of this battery meter because I don't like it. Um, and what I'm going to start doing is configuring, uh, configuring these plugins. So, um, for this particular collection, it has its own little configuration button on the top right of each of these. So that makes it easier. And there's all this information. Um, and you can see how it's using hardware info to grab the information, uh, which is great. Um, you, know, you can show your core temperatures and things like page file graphs. fan usage, which for me is irrelevant because I have uh, water cooling. So I'm going to put opacity to zero. And then, then, well, it doesn't matter what color the, the skin itself is because 
it's transparent now. So I can take all of my plugins and make them fit into my background's theme because they all become transparent. So that's all I'm gonna do. I gotta drag this every time <laughs> and put a zero. Hit enter. There. GPU meter. So CPU meter, GPU meter. I'm making sure that these kind of snap into place. Snap. And you know, you can customize like all of the different colors, uh, but I mean, I'm okay with what all of the text looks like. I just want the background color to be transparent. Now, it could be nice to just put like a little bit of a background, like let's say 50 out of 255, you'd get like a little bit of this background. Uh, but I kind of just want to make it all transparent here. And there you go, drives, GPU, CPU, that's great. I don't like the fact that it says clock 3600 megahertz because that's actually incorrect because it's actually overclocked to four gigahertz. And hardware monitor, you know, says that correctly. Um, and uh, if you click on your icon here, it'll open up your task manager. And uh, in my performance tab, you can see CPU. You know, I've got this overclocked to four gigahertz, and my memory is at you know 2400 megahertz. Yes, I need faster RAM. Um, but uh, anyways, so just odd that it shows clock 3600 megahertz here. But other than that. Uh, and then, you know, the GPU meter is interesting. So moving on from that, uh, my weather one's cool. It was already transparent. Uh, trash can's cool, already transparent. These two are nice. Uh, I need to change this calendar, make that transparent. Capacity zero. Um, and you can configure whether you want, uh, you know, these little daylight savings, International Women's Day, St. Patrick's Day, if you want to, like, not highlight those show leading zeros just configuration items um moon phases okay so the first and the 31st i guess yeah all right so that's interesting stuff <clears throat> uh notes uh notes in order to make it transparent that one's a little more complicated because there is no configuration built in now <clears throat> when you're in this manage area for the skin you go ostro notes notes.ini, I had to click on edit, and this is actually the source code of what the plugins look like. It's in Lua script, so if you play World of Warcraft, well, this is Lua script, just like World of Warcraft plugins. Um, I don't know if that's still the case. That was a really long time ago. Um, anyway, so background mode, you switch it from three to, I believe, two is what makes it transparent. I just gotta hit refresh. Nope, two is a solid color. One, one are you transparent? Refresh, oh look at that, it's transparent. I like that, that's nice. Uh, I wish the font was a slight bigger. I don't have to do that, but here, text, text size eight, let's try moving it to nine, let's see if that works. Refresh, oh, it does, that's a little bit nicer. And maybe the word notes could be bigger. Just to give you an idea here, styling of the title, font size 11 instead of 10. Again, refresh, see the word notes got a tiny bit bigger. All right, so that's cool. You can sometimes play, play around with, you know, the variables, like if I wanted to change like the, you know, the color of the text, because maybe I have a different kind of background where I don't want white text, maybe I've got, um, maybe I've got a white background and I want, black text for the notes, so that would be easier here instead of, uh, you know, 255, 255, 255, uh, you'd put 000, zero, zero if you'd want black text. See, like, oops, you'd put, and you hit refresh, and then you'd have this black text, so that if you had a white background, you know, that would be great for that. So, you know, don't be afraid to play around with uh, the settings of the plugins um, if you feel comfortable doing that. Uh, you always have access to the full source code of your plugins in this INI file. And that's generally almost all of these plugins is, in fact, just an INI file. There's maybe a few that come with like a, some graphics. Uh, but yeah, so that's interesting. 
so there you go. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this layout. And I just want to center the weather. And that's good. Um, show you this note plugin. Uh, list is full. Uh, let's just uh, hover over here, click delete, click delete, click delete, click delete. Get rid of a bunch of these. So I think there's room for something like 16 notes. Um, then you click add a new note, test, test. It's pretty easy to use. Um, you can move notes up or down. And when you've got the item done, you can click this. So you can kind of use it on a daily basis and do a little list of things you got to do and then just flag them as done once you're done, right? So that works really nice. Uh, so um, there you have it. Um, this is what my uh, customized desktop looks like by combining a couple different set of collections from uh, RainMeter. Uh, if you want to give RainMeter a try, I'll link to the, in the description to RainMeter and all of the uh, skins that I use to make this layout and my wallpaper. So thanks and see you in the next one.